arrival of this baby girl is a medical triumph right. twice over. <laughs> Charity Lincoln and her twin sister Kathleen were born at the same hospital 21 years ago. They defied the odds by surviving. Their arrival made headlines. The conjoined sisters were born attached from breastbone to pelvis, each with one leg and a third fused leg. They also shared several internal organs. I just didn't see how they both could survive. Dateline crews followed along in those early days. Mommy loves you. Night night. There for the sweet moments. Here she goes again, the pacifier bandit. And the scary ones. When the girls were just seven months old, a team of nearly 30 doctors, nurses, and support staff performed a difficult and dangerous surgery to separate and put them back together. This is uh, probably about as complex and as difficult as anything we do or have done. They're separated. The 31-hour surgery was a success, led by a then 42-year-old Dr. John Waldhausen, who has stayed in touch with the twins ever since. He was one of Charity's first phone calls when she found out she was expecting. She says he's her hero. What does he mean to you? He's been with me through a lot. Did you ever think all those years ago that you would see Charity one day give birth to her own baby? When you're involved with an operation like that, you're really hoping that you can create a whole lifetime for somebody. And then to see this happening, it really comes full circle. So this is a great day for all of us. It's emotional for you. It is. It is. When she told you that she was pregnant, did you have any concerns? I didn't know if her uterus was going to allow her to carry a child. I didn't know if her abdominal wall reconstruction was going to allow her abdomen to expand in such a way that a baby could grow. Dr. Waldhausen called on his colleague and friend, Dr. Edith Chang, to oversee Charity's high-risk pregnancy and delivery. I think my concerns were, is she at risk for preterm labor? And what would that look like? Feeling excited, a little bit nervous. We're just super grateful to be in such good hands throughout this whole process. and. We feel really safe and confident that everything's going to work out. You're going to be a mom today. <laughs> At nearly 34 weeks, a team of 21 performed the cesarean section and cared for baby Alora. Is this a miracle? I wouldn't call it a miracle. I would call it a medical triumph. Charity's case really is the full obstetrical circle. This howling girl this morning at almost 34 weeks. That is a true triumph to get this baby to almost term. This baby's healthy. It feels like full circle, you know, since my mom had us here and everything. Now that baby girl has a baby girl of her own. God's really blessed me with all the doctors in my life and everything. I think it is important that people see that we're still doing good and living the best life we can. <laughs> And guys, as you can see, baby Alora was taken into the NICU after birth and given some supplemental oxygen. But doctors say both mom and baby are healthy and happy. Guys. That's incredible. Yeah, that's beautiful. What an incredible yeah, journey, yeah. huh? A great story. Yeah. Aaron, thank you so much for that. Thank you, Aaron. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.